Well, good evening, everybody. This is Gloria Drummond. I want to welcome you all to my channel. All 64 of my subscribers. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Again, I want to welcome you all to my channel. And Jesus loves you, and Jesus is the answer. Okay. <clears throat> I'm, very, I'm very excited tonight. Because, um... I don't know how to bring. I don't know how to how to bring this up. I'm just going to let the Lord lead me. Let the Lord lead me. One of my dear subscribers brought up something. Brought up something, and it is worth mentioning. It is most assuredly worth mentioning. And um, I'm going to read the same verses that she did, and it's about a woman behind the pulpit. Being a minister, being a minister in a church, you know, being being a minister, and I'm going to read those those scriptures. I'm going to read those scriptures because I I dealt with feelings about that for for the longest time. And um, in these last days, in these last days, um, it is okay. It is okay for a woman to be a minister. Yes, it's okay, and um, we are not supposed to be above a man. Yeah, you know, a, a man is usually usually the minister, the, the pastor of a church. Yes, yes, and Adam was the first man. Yes, and God made the woman for the man. Yes, and um, so um, I'm going to read those same verses that's okay um, this is not to be debated no it's not not anything to be debated because like I said I I worried about that for the longest longest time and um, God can, can can call call anybody God can call anyone to be his serve his minister and we are supposed to spread the gospel through, you know all through throughout this world and um, but we just are not supposed to be above the man, the man. And about as far as being ordained, an ordained minister, if God has called a woman, this is my opinion, this is what I believe, and also what my dad told me years and years ago. He said, you're going to do a mighty work. He said, don't use your talent and your gift, glory, Pip, because you're going to do a mighty work someday. And of course, back you know, but, but yeah, it, it it is hasn't been preached that I know of either. And I always thought that that was under under the also in, under the law of Moses, but I guess it wasn't under the old law. That we're not under that law anymore. Uh, Nikki Pratt, I dearly love her. She's a, very, a dear sister in, pro, in Christ. She did a video about that, about women in the church. You know their their position in the church. They're supposed to. They're supposed to um, uh, be reverent, be reverent, and be behind their man. Be be behind their man and not not ahead of their man. Yes, and she did a video on that. And um, so, and like I said, I went over and over and over in my mind, and I prayed and prayed and prayed about it. And. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God has called and He has chosen me to be a minister. He's, he's chosen me. This is a very good, very good topic, very, very excellent topic. And um, no, it's not talked about very much. It's not talked about under Paul's teachings. Under Paul's teachings, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to read that. I'm going to read all that. And I was going to reply back. But I figured, well, why don't, why don't I just do like a follow-up uh, follow to it, okay? So, uh, I love you, my dear sister. I love you. And I'm not going to say any names because I, I made that mistake one other time with one of my other subscribers. And um, I didn't mean to, to um, embarrass her, but I did. So, I'm not going to make that mistake ever again. <laughs> because I love you all. I love you all. And, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to get in. Whoa, if I don't knock everything off my table here. Okay, I'm going to get into it. If I can find, find where I wrote it at. 
And I also read from the KJV. Yes, always the KJV. First Timothy. Turn with me, everybody, to First Timothy, uh, chapter two, verses one through fifteen. That's First Timothy. Okay, we're going to go to First Timothy. First Timothy. I've got to look it up, people. First Timothy. First Timothy. Oh, I can't find it first. First Timothy. Excuse me, people. I can't. I can't uh, pause this video. First Timothy. First Timothy eleven twenty nine. Eleven twenty nine. 1129. 1129. 1129. Hold on, bear with me, people. <laughs> 1129. 1129. First Timothy. First Timothy. Chapter 2, chapter 2, 1 Timothy, chapter 1, chapter 2, okay, chapter 2, verses 1 through 15, chapter 2, verses 1 through 15. Okay, I'm going to read. I'm going to read all these again. I'm going to read them all again. Okay, okay. And I love you all. I love you all. And all right. First one of, of chapter two of, of First Timothy. I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Yes. Okay. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Four. Who will have all men to be saved and to come into the knowledge of the truth? All right. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man of Christ Jesus. Six. Who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle. I speak the truth in Christ and lie not, and lie not. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. Eight, I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. Uh, yeah, okay, through 15. The place and the dress of a woman. The, the place and the dress of women. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. All right. But which becometh women professing godliness with good works. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, quietness and submissions. Yes, yes. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to assert authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Yes, because Eve tempted him. Eve, Eve, Eve tempted Adam. All right. Notwithstanding, she, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue to in faith and charity, which means love, and, ho and holiness with sobriety. Okay. I'm going to read on, okay, I'm going to read on to, to, into chapter 3 a little bit, okay? In chapter 3. Qualifications of bishops. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, not given to wine nor striker, not greedy of filthy liqueur, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous. One that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity, meaning control, under control, 
manages. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of, his, of the church of God? This gets good. Not a, not a novice, be, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall down into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into the reproach and be and the snare of the devil. Shame. Okay. Verse 8. Likewise must the deacons be grave, not double-tongued, not given to much wine, not greedy of filthy liqueur, holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience. And let these also first be proved. Then let them use the office of a deacon, being for, found blameless. Even so, even so must their wives be grave, not slanderous, sober, faithful in all things. Let the deacons be the husbands of one wife, ruling their children and their own houses. For they have you... The, for they that have used the office of a deacon will purchase to themselves a good de degree and great boldness in the faith which is in Jesus Christ. These things which I write unto thee, hoping to come unto thee shortly. But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up in glory. Okay. Now the Spirit, I'm going to read a little bit more. I'm going to, I'm going to read a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to read more. Predictions of apostasy. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to dis seducing spirits and do doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Okay. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused. Nothing to be refused. If it be received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Set apart for use. A good minister of Jesus Christ. I'm going to read this part. I love you all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm happy. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine, whereunto they, thou hast attained. But refuse profane and old wives' fables, and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. For bodily exercise profiteth little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is, and of, of that which is to come. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. All right. True entire acceptance. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. These things command and teach. These things command and teach. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in clarity, in spirit, in, in faith, and in purity. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine, preaching. Neglect not the gift that is in thee. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the, of the presbytery, as prophetic utterances of Acts 6, 6, elders. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. Be, di be diligent in progress, in, pr in progress. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save itself, th thou, shalt bo thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Okay. In other words, in other words, in other words, it is okay for a woman to be a minister. If God, in the, especially in these last days, it is okay for a woman to be a minister. But if a woman has a man in her life that is a, that is a pastor, is a minister, then she is to be reverent and let the man be the minister and let her stand beside the man not be above the man and God above all 
God above all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See, he's giving giving witness to me to give witness intercessory to all of you. Because like I said, I wrestled with that for the longest time. But I'm a woman. A woman is supposed to keep silent in the church. Well, that's not true anymore. That is not true. A woman can be a minister. A woman can be a minister. I'll say this again, but he, she is not supposed to be above the man. She's not supposed to be above the man. No. No. So, I hope that has cleared up. That's my, that's my opinion. And also, I feel the Lord wanted me to say this. The Lord wanted me to say this. Because why else would he have called me? Why else would he have called me? He called me to do to be his. He has called me to be his servant, his minister, his his minister. So I'm fine. I am fine. I have no doubt whatsoever in my mind that he wants me to be his his servant, his minister. Yes, yes. So I hope that cleared some things up. I hope. I hope I hope it has. Because I am a servant of God. Yes. We are we are to pre we are to teach it. We are to speak it, teach it, and preach it. The Lord gave me those words. Speak it, teach it, and preach it. Yes, there are some very, very wonderful minister, women ministers, very wonderful, true ministers of the Lord. Yes, I hope, again, I hope I, I got that straightened out, I hope. I'll say it again, I'll say it again. If you're with, if you, you have a husband that is a pastor, then you stand behind the husband. You do, you do not be above the husband. And God is number one the mediator god is number one so i hope i hope again i hope i've cleared that up i hope there was more in here about about that but i'm not sure i'm not sure where that where that was at but i'll, I'll have to find it i'll have to find it but i think that's enough i gotta take me a drink of water hang on just a second i don't want to be coughing on here like i did last night I hate to do that. I don't have to do, take a drink on air, but that's okay. At least it's not alcohol. <laughs> I, I I try to be a little a little funny too, but okay. I was trying to see if there's anything else the Lord wanted me wanted me to read real quick. I wanted to see. I don't think there's anything else he wants me to read. I had other scriptures I was going to read tonight. I had other scriptures. Oh, yeah. See, did I ever read? No, I never read Mark. No, I never read Mark chapter 16. Let's go to Mark chapter 16. I love it. I love it. I love it. Mark chapter 16. Matthew, Matthew Mark, Luke, John. I love the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Matthew, Mark. And what did I say it was? Uh, Mark chapter 16. I'm bur I'm, you'll have to forgive me. I'm burping tonight. I had a little bit spicy stuff for supper. Mark 16, 15. Mark 16. Mark 16. Mark 16. Well, now I got to Mark 16. Mark 16. Now, what was that scripture? Mark 16, verse 15. Yes, here we go. Let's 
Okay, let's see. Jesus commissions the, the eleven. Okay, verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into the world, all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and then they shall re recover. Okay. Like I said, there there were there were more verses. There were more verses. I'm gonna have to I'll have to I'll have to find them. I'll have to find them. But this is this is the K the KJV the King James version. Like I said, this Bible there was there was some things missing out of Revelation especially. And I had some other verses. I had some other verses I was gonna read tonight, but I got into this, and I'm so glad. I'm glad that. That's, that's really strange how the Lord changes things. Just just in the, just like the click of a finger, you know. You come across something and boom. The Lord, I mean, that's when he wants you to do a, do me, I mean, wants me to do a follow-up. And um, there's been people, I gotta get this. There have been people that have gotten angry with me for doing follow-ups to uh, Miss Nikki, some of her some of her videos, you know, and it's fine to do follow-ups because we are supposed to spread the word, get the word out to advance God's kingdom. That's what our job, our jobs are as ministers, as uh, servants of the Lord, disciples of Christ. That's what our job is to do, to get the word out and to help spread God's word. You know, so anyway, I'm not going to sing on this one. It's right now, it's uh, t about between 5 and 10 after 9 p.m. now. This is the 21st of January of 2016. I love all of my subscribers and praise the Lord for, for all 64. It makes me think about a song. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? I'm on the wrong tune. When I get older, losing my hair, many years from now, will you still be sending me a valentine, birthday greetings, bottle of wine? Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 64, and I'll be 64 on my birthday, in a few months, I'll be 64. So anyway, but anyway. See, I, I mean, the Lord has a sense of humor too. The Lord has a sense of humor. A person don't have to be, you know, so serious all the time. The Lord does have a sense of humor. You know, and I can just picture him smiling, smiling at some of the things that we say, you know. And some things, you know, I, I've embarrassed my own self. I've embarrassed my own self on some things, you know. And but when the many falls falls over or other things happens, you know, that, that it gets me embarrassed. I can just imagine Jesus up there just Jesus just smiling, you know. That's that's my my, my daughter, that's Gloria, you know, and everything. So anyway, I'm gonna do the Lord's Prayer, people, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. Again, I love you all and God bless you. Welcome to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. And by all means leave me comments. Please leave me comments. Okay, so, alrighty. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Until my next video, which I which don't know when it'll be. You never know when I'm going to put one on there. You, you never know. Alrighty. I'm going to say goodnight or until my next video. Okay. God bless you all. I love you. Love you all. Oh, thumbs up. Eyes to the sky, for we know not when our Lord will return. That is so true. Alrighty. Okay. Until my next video. Alrighty.